son. Before he had... You put me in that bed. You put me in this place. You've kept me apart from my daughter through the worst crisis of her life. And you think that I can forgive you. I am so sorry, Blair. Kelly, for the rest of my life, every time I lay eyes on you. I know that. I know. I know, and I don't know how I'm going to make this right for you, Blair, but all I know is how sorry I am. You have got to understand. Oh, please, I understand. Look, I understand. I understand. Fine. I know that you were so upset about Joey that you were in no condition to be behind the wheel of a car, Kelly. This isn't what happened. You I might drove as well the like gas drunk. Well, why didn't you stay home? I couldn't. I didn't. No, you couldn't stay home, could you? Because you couldn't stand to be miserable all alone. You had to go out and share it with the world. I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know what else to do. I was going crazy. I never thought anything. Well, you I never think, gonna... Kelly. You never think except for yourself, do you? Even now. <laughs> Even now, where you're trying to tell me how sorry you are that you killed my son, that you crippled me and put my daughter's future at risk. All you really want is absolution. Does it make you feel better? Isn't that right, Kelly? <coughs> don't, don't, please, just, you know, don't even... Don't you touch me, okay? Don't you ever touch me again. You just... You just go away from me. Kill anyone else on your drive home.